Titles, Inclusive, a Microsoft Design Toolkit. Victor Pinetta, urban planner, filmmaker. A quote, I am a speaker, scholar, and storyteller. A young woman takes Victor's hand. And there was this really beautiful, older student. And I wasn't quite sure how I would dance with her, but she was such a good dancer that as soon as we started to move my chair, and she started, she started to dance with me, and the dance floor opened up, and I realized everybody was looking at us, and we were the center of attention because we were just having such a good time. And so I've always loved music, but I realized that I could express that music through the way I move my body. His wheelchair rolls on the dance floor. You don't just need two feet to dance. You need to have rhythm and soul. And I've got plenty of both. Lying on a bed, Victor holds a keyboard and gazes at the ceiling monitor. I stopped walking when I was about five years old. I had gradual weakness in my muscles. And by the time I was in high school, I used a machine to help me breathe. A breathing tube fits over his nose. You know, I was watching the movie Matrix. Do you take the red pill or the blue pill? And the question is, would I take a pill that would make my disability go away? And that's a really hard question because I have so much insight and such a rich life that not having this perspective would really change the way that I kind of view the world. A personal care assistant helps Victor dress. I'm going to be challenged next week when I have to climb Machu Picchu, which is a lifelong dream. It's on my bucket list. Victor flies in a plane over mountains in Peru. And I'm challenged by thinking about how to make that journey possible, but I know that I'll get through it. Two men guide Victor's wheelchair along a narrow, rocky trail. A lofty view shows a terraced hillside. There's a triangle, three different things that have to come together to really unlock human accomplishments for people with disabilities. And those involve assistive technology, personal assistance, somebody that's aware, understanding how to support you. And three is coping strategies. And so these three things sort of create a variety of tools. In the Nevada desert, Victor rides in an ice taxi. Like my recent trip to Burning Man. He lies on blankets. Where I have never been camping before because I need, I need some basic infrastructure. His wheelchair rides atop the taxi. And so how was I going to get, you know, a solar-powered battery charger to charge my breathing machine? How was I going to have my assistant putting me in a tent and having to put me on the floor and this and that? And I challenged myself to sort of put myself in a really difficult place knowing that I had good people around me and support to get through it. Shirtless, he lounges in a chair. So it's really about seeing users and meeting users and engaging with people that can be completely different than you. It stretches what your imagination of what's possible. And so by having designers, whether they're designing a school or software, they're able to design ways and functionalities that unlock human potential. He visits a marketplace. It not only makes that software or that school more useful for broader numbers of people, but it has a trickle effect. It has a multiplier effect that it changes those people in, in a sense, it changes society. Because the fact that the designer thought about a wider group of people opens up for society to see these people that were once invisible. Victor speaks at conferences. A choral group includes some who use wheelchairs. And the designers have the power to unlock that potential. He consults on an urban planning design. As people with disabilities, there is this very clear understanding that you either are able to contribute to society or you're just left out of society. And the tools that you design really change the equation in terms of what I can contribute. So remove those obstacles and let me contribute my talents because I want to be part of society. I want to give everything I have. I don't want to sit on the sidelines. 
You can change that. You can change the rules of the game so the game includes me and includes my talents. Victor eases his wheelchair down a ramp at the Ed Roberts campus in Berkeley and exits through a door to the outside. Fade to black. Titles. This is part of a film series created to build empathy and inspire designers. Inclusive, a Microsoft design toolkit. A slanted light production, Microsoft.